Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So today's look is another look where I have already gone ahead and done my face makeup. And I'm using a palette today that I've only used once. This is technically, I guess you'd call it a fall palette. So the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice, I only used it once. I can't believe it, but because I just, I think that was a transition time for me. I was only posting once a week at the time and I had a whole bunch of palettes I wanted to cover. So in saying that, I was kind of looking at the colors and I really wanted to do an all over smoky, sparkly type look. And when I'm looking at this palette, there's a lot of matte shades in here, but there's not that many sparkle ones that I want to work with, except, oops, um, I mean, there's purple. So like these purples would go really well together, but I feel like I've done so much purple. And then of course, there's like this bright pink down here, there's a gold, and then there's this like kind of smoky brown olive tone color, um, which is nice, but I was just, I don't really know where this look is going to take me right now because it, like I've got a really good canvas. I really like the way my skin is right now too, by the way, and I just wanted to let you know, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I love this stuff. This is in the shade 7.5. And it's probably a little bit darker than I should be wearing, but I made it work with a concealer. So I used the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in C14 is the color I used for that. And then I used the Jeffree Star Powder in beige as well, just the regular one, not the luminous. And I really like how it looks. I didn't do any bronzing or any contour, probably the first time in a long time that I haven't done a contour and I just kind of felt like I don't need it today. This video probably won't be until a little bit later this March. So it's still like a spring type vibe, but I just, yeah, I don't know where this look is going to take me. So we're just going to play with some makeup. So I am going to start with an E25 by Sigma. Uh, Sigma is basically the only brand of brushes I'll ever use. Um, I do have some Real Techniques you can see right here behind me. Real Techniques and I have like a whole bunch of random brushes that I haven't touched in forever. I probably should switch them out like while these brushes are cleaning or while they're drying I mean. But I just haven't touched them. So because I don't really know where it's going to go or what I'm going to do with this, I want to do Fall For It or Pumpkin Spice. I haven't used the Pumpkin Spice shades. So we're just going to go into there and use that as a crease shade. Originally, I, I was thinking of using this all over the eye and then covering it with like a sparkly topper. Number one, there's no sparkly topper on this palette. And number two, I already have a look planned with an orange color later this spring. And so I don't want this to be an orange makeup look because yeah, I do have some plans coming up. So this is the dilemma. We're gonna go ahead and blend this out and I will let you know what we're going to use on the lid and the outer corner shortly. This color blended out so beautifully and I didn't even need to like use a different color to blend it out because Normally people with really light skin tone would go into this whipped cream or something or maybe fall for it, but that's like too dark. It just blended out so nicely. You don't even need any other color to do the work for you. You just, I didn't even honestly do it that long and it's just so pretty. Plan is to darken the outer corner. I'm going to actually go into Warm and Cozy. So this is like a dark, I'm pretty sure it's a dark plum shade and I'm going to use the same brush actually i totally lied we're going to use an e27 because it's a little bit smaller it's a little bit more precise it's the same paper brush i was using before but just a detailed blender so we're going into the spice of life i will tap off my brush for this one only because it is so dark and i'm just going to pack this out in the outer corner okay so now that that's applied i was going to do the orange on the lower lash line and i just forgot so i'm going to go back into pumpkin spice I'm going to run this with this E25 all along my lower lash line and connect it to the orange on the top as well. And then I'm going to use the brush with no extra color applied and blend in the crease a little bit so that dark plum color and the orange crease color just kind of um, blend a little bit just because I want it to be seamless and 
no harsh lines here on the corner. Okay, so now that that is done, I am going to go in with my finger for falling for you. So it's this like sparkly shade here. It's kind of like an olive um, gold tone. I'm going to put this on the lid. I'm going to go back in with that same orange brush I was using, the E25. Again, blending in the crease. No extra product added on. And then I'm going in with that E27 and just blending between the sparkle and the plum color on the lid. And I'm just going to touch up that warm and cozy color just a little bit because I feel like I lost it a little bit when I added that sparkle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of Fall Vibes, which is the gold shade with my pinky finger, and just add a little bit. It's almost like a pressed pigment, just a little bit on top of that greeny gold color. And then I'm going to line my eye as well. The trick is to pick a color that kind of matches, but also contrast at the same time. I actually like this one. It's called Editorial. It's like this sparkly brown color. It's by Morphe. It's a Morphe color pencil. So we're going to line the waterline. I think we're just going to pile on the mascara and we will be right back. So I think it looks pretty good without lashes. I'm just going to leave it like this. It's actually funny because when I first bought this palette, the look I did was completely not like a fall look at all. And one of the comments I got, I think it was from Linda, and she said, oh, thank goodness, not another fall look. It's refreshing to see something different than that. So now it's funny because now it's spring and I'm reverting to fall looks. But I mean, you, this could be a spring look. It's just a really pretty um, warm toned look. And it just, it's really nice. I actually, I'm quite fascinated by this color combination. It looks really pretty actually. So I am going to wear lipstick and I do have to go out, but I'm going to be daring. I haven't done this in forever. I've never used this. This is my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, the chocolate scented in the shade 856. 70% yum. It is so dark brown. I'm a little nervous because I haven't worn a dark brown lipstick. This is such a fall thing to do. Um, I don't think I've worn a dark brown lipstick ever. And all I have is like a natural colored lip liner. So I'm going to have to trace the lip liner precisely. But before we do that, I'm going to apply highlighter. So of course, you guys guessed it, my Mary Lou by the Balm with my F03 highlighter brush. And I'm going to highlight. And also just so you guys know, so like I've been kind of playing around with um, different formats of editing. So sometimes what I'll do is have my face ready like in today's video and I will go ahead and do my makeup and then other ones I will just like have the whole video on silent and fast forward it and then do a voiceover and then other ones would be like obviously my get ready with me where I do like the full video talking and just fast forwarding some of the boring parts so what do you guys like better I need to kind of know so I can um kind of change my style until I figure it out I'm just going to leave it the way I've been doing it and switching it up every now and then so here I'm taking my little lip brush this is the L04 detailed lip brush and I'm adding some highlight underneath the brow bone for contrast as well as on the inner corner of my eye this has got to be my favorite part of eye makeup is that beautiful bright contrast with the shadow I'm honestly a little nervous about putting such a dark color on my lips and it'll dry down so I can wear my mask over top because I just have to go to the gas station store. The gas station store. They, well, we call them Max, but they, they changed their name to Circle K, so call it the gas station store because a lot of people don't know what Max or Circle K are. So here I am. I'm lining with the Milani Easy Liner Retractable Lip Pencil Most Natural. Boy, if this is too dark, I might have to take it off. We'll see. Ooh, it is dark, but it smells like chocolate. 
Oh my God. I wonder if it'd be a good idea to like blend it out with a lighter color because that's just too dark for me. That's really scary. I'll go in with a little bit warmer toned one. This is Sweet Tooth 844. Same brand and everything. It's more of a nude really. So I just used it to blend it out because it was way too dark. And then I will just take my lip pencil and kind of re-blend it over the lip line itself. I'm not used to wearing lipstick because I've just been going without it for so long. But I think that looks kind of cool. Kind of looks like a ball look. But that's okay. I'm going to run with it today. So that's it for this look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love if you would subscribe. And again, click that bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And we'll talk to you again next time. Bye.